What is going on ladies and gentlemen? We are back again with another 90 Day Fiance video and this one is all about Memphis and why I strongly believe with all the evidence that I have have at hand that Memphis was 100% in my own opinion pregnant before she landed in Tunisia to marry her now husband, well soon to be ex-husband Hamza. But before we get into it, let's start off by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel. Now you see, after going back and watching several of the very beginning episodes, there were certain things that I noticed around Memphis in terms of what she said before she even flew to Tunisia, and even how she looked before she flew to Tunisia as well, compared to how she was when she therefore landed, and also some of the things that she said while she was also in Tunisia as well, and how I strongly believe with my own analyzing abilities, if I do so say myself, <laughs> that the proof was in the pudding this whole time that she was pregnant and th and their relationship was only ever going to go one way throughout the series apart from the tell all of course but anyway let me stop talking and let me start showing you some of the clips that i've gathered so we so i can help you so so i can paint a picture of basically what i'm here for yeah yeah anyway with that being said let's get into it we are not going to get engaged. We're just going to go straight to getting married. Now, you see, initially on this episode, none of us would have ever really picked up on that, on what she said there. We are going to get engaged. So we're not going to get engaged. We're going to go and get married straight away. And it makes you wonder, why would you want to skip being proposed to? Fair enough, she's already had two relationships with two baby daddies and arguably she's still in love with one of them, potentially from what I'm understanding right now on the streets, but the matter of fact is, why skip it? Because you see, Memphis is someone that came there with a plan. But let me not spoil you guys with the plan because that is something that is gonna be resolved. I mean, that's something that is going to be shown to you guys throughout the video. But at the end of the day, I generally believe that there was a purpose behind her skipping engagement and wanting to go straight to marriage. But let's get into the next clip. What are you going to do with this? Your personalities don't mix. Well, oh, they when are. You're, no, it, when you're in person, it can it be different. Is. Well, that's why I'm not going to marry him right off. I'm going to go down there for a week and then we get married the second week and then we have like a honeymoon season for the third week. So you know, there's reasons why we have friends in our lives, or at least some of us pick our friends wisely because we want people around us that's going to tell us things that we neglect to think about or things that we forget to think about, okay? And to take seriously. Her friend came out with a bullying question. But what if, if, what if you don't click when you, when you arrive? What if things don't match up when you arrive? Memphis's response was, well, that's why first week's this, second week's that, third week's that. She already had it all planned out, which means that she definitely had it planned out that she wanted to skip even the proposal itself in general, even though the season goes how it went, she wanted to skip all of that because the matter of fact is she just wanted to go straight to marriage, which is a strong part of why she was pregnant beforehand. But here's the thing though, when she got there, did she take any of her friend's advice? Absolutely not. I mean, it was already cancelled out in this scene anyway, but when she got there, she found out straight away that one, he had lied about his age, two, he had lied about him actually working, and several other things too. Now here's the thing, in the moment, she reacted to them with a little bit of hesitance, but she was quick to throw every single one of those things straight under the rug. And you think for a woman that's already been in two relations with two different baby fathers, one of them no longer being there, you would think that she would be more high maintenance within herself in terms of picking up on red flags that do matter, red flags that may become a problem or probably will become a problem in the future. And here's the thing, one of the biggest red flags that a lot of people seem to ignore but no one should ever ignore is lying. The moment your partner or the person you was talking to lie to you is the moment that you say hmm you lied to me hmm i can forgive you but you're probably going to do it again and if i got trust issues trust issues there's a chance you're probably going to lie again or you have already lied about more things do i really want to be in this life a lot of people will be like listen well everything else about he or she is absolutely fantastic so you know what i'm just going to let it slide i'm sure they won't do it again but the matter of fact is though, lying is one of the biggest, if not the biggest red flag of why people should always walk away. Hence why I'm still single, if you take what I'm saying. But here's the thing though, 
she had those opportunities based on the fact that her friend had already planted the seed but she obviously cancelled the seed anyway because she wanted to make sure that marriage was always going to be a thing okay and anything else any little hiccups here and there she was quick to just throw them underneath the rug remember marriage is just the first key point of why i believe memphis was pregnant before she even landed in tunisia but let's proceed because there's more to give within this clip here from the very first episode do you think that it's crazy i want to marry someone i have never met but i don't care now this hmm, is where it gets even more interesting uh, he always puts me first unlike my past relationships and that's what i've always loved about him so why would i wait any longer to marry him you'd think someone that clearly is showing us evidence of where she's got trauma from past relationships would be very careful about getting into a marriage with someone that she's never met and you think that she wouldn't want to rush into a marriage with someone that she's never met but like she said she didn't care but this is the question though why didn't you quit why didn't she care why ignore the serious red flags in front of you we're just looking out for you yeah. sweetheart but you have to see the whole picture you i do to. i do but it's like i'm gonna do what i want to do regardless yeah because i feel like this is right in my gut and in my heart <laughs> i'm sorry but when she said i didn't do i'm gonna do what i want to do regardless because i know it feels right in my gut <laughs> ah! Okay, I'm being too dramatic. Let me calm myself down. All I know is that when she said that line and I was like, yeah, we know you definitely want to do what's right for you. <laughs> oh, I'm so mean sometimes, but hey, man, life wouldn't be funny without a little bit of comedy, right? Come on now. <laughs> but here's the thing, though. The fact that she said that she's going to do whatever she wants regardless, that was given proof that she only had a ton of vision agenda the whole time. And the ton of vision agenda was to make sure that when she landed, she had her sexy time, which is a scene that we will come to eventually in this video and then some. But at the end of the day, it's just so sad because if Memphis had actually seen all of the signs in terms of her friend's warnings and in terms of obviously Hamza's line at the very beginning, she could have been in a position where she could have avoided marrying someone where she's now trying to basically you know make him look like absolute garbage and that's just a grand scheme of it whether or not he is a piece of garbage or not who knows but uh the way she's going about it is just not it's just not proper is it and to be fair the way she's going around a lot of things right now just isn't proper neither but um you think again ladies and you think again for someone who is who's got these insecurities from past relationships, she would have done a far much more better job. And for someone that obviously went out there, became a nurse, someone that knows a lot about, you know, babies and all that kind of stuff, and already has a baby with X, Y, Z, you think, come on now. To be honest with you, I generally believe that she knows that the baby is her baby, is her... So the most recent baby father she has, not Hamza, the one before him, the one that she's still in love with, allegedly, I believe that she knows that he's the father, but... She probably didn't want to put the rain in him because one, she probably didn't want to push him away. And two, she knew that he still wouldn't get back over her anyway. So therefore, she'd rather put that on someone else. Because in the reality, to be honest with you, if she felt like she could get back her ex, I generally do believe that she would have said, listen, I'm pregnant and it's yours. What are we going to do about it? But again, this is all up for speculation, isn't it, lady? <laughs> isn't it, my peoples? You know, I don't know, you know, it's, somebody said to me, can you stop saying ladies and gentlemen all the time? And now I'm trying to just say it, but like, I can't help it, man. I'm just polite. Like, come on, it's my manners. My manners has always been too polite to say ladies and gentlemen. It's so hard to be polite nowadays in this world, isn't it? You do it too much. You do it anyway, anyway, let's not sway too much, but uh, let's proceed. <laughs> Now, before we continue in this video, I just want to show you this. Now, right now, this is Memphis before she is flown all the way or flew, my, my, may I say, all the way to Tunisia. OK, and as you can see, this is exactly how she looks. And I just want you to pay attention to just her facial structure in terms of her chin, her neck, in terms of the man, and in terms of the, the, the fat around her neck. I would incl incl inc include the clothing, but let's just leave that out of it. But just obviously, you know, just her chin and her neck specifically. Those are the two areas that I feel like we should definitely focus on, okay? And also just the makeup as well. The fact that she has less of makeup here as well in particular, okay? And one thing that I know for sure, for sure, is that... For some women in this world, when they get to a point where maybe their hormones start playing up, you know, their skin could break up per se, and then they, they, they tend to start to wear more makeup. 
within that due time. And some women, you know, when they gain a little bit more weight, they, stay, they tend to start to wear more makeup too because they generally believe that it's going to make them maybe look a bit more slimmer. I mean, listen, all the ladies here will know exactly what I'm talking about. I may not have it pinpointed to the reasons, but from my experiences, there are various reasons that I've just mentioned of why women would then slap on some makeup, okay? Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because, you see, shortly, I'm going to show you a comparison, okay? But we're not going to get to that comparison yet. I just want you to keep this image right now in your head whilst we watch Memphis in the next scene because the next scene that we're going to see her is going to be of her being actually in Tunisia itself in particular. So with that being said, let's get into it. <laughs> he wants sexy time tonight. My mother, uh... You have something yeah. you need to tell me? Yes, baby. What? Um. You know, Memphis's initial reaction to do you want sexy time tonight? And he says, ah, my mother, what? But let me not say too much. Let's 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 allow that scene to play a little bit more. But remember, I just want you to now pay attention to her facial features. Uh, my mama told me not to sleep before uh, Mariel. What? Uh, I gonna, am not with you. You're not going to be with me? Why Why didn't you tell me this earlier? Uh, okay. Uh, I asked you a lot of times, where am I going to sleep? You said I'm going to sleep with you. So you told me a lie. <sighs> it's crazy because I just feel like... The more and more we go through this video and the more and more I show you these clips that I've seen so many times already, the more and more it just becomes a lot clear as day. It cannot be ignored. Tell me, can this be ignored? You know, I mean, like she's, I, I already asked you many, many times, am I going to sleep with you? Okay. Many, many, many times. Why? And then she was like, you know, you could have told me this beforehand. Why? So therefore she knows how to plan her moves. But of course, Hamza had lied throughout the whole time. Now, even though he had lied, like I said, anything that he did that, you know, is a lie or is inappropriate, she always found a way to just slide it under the rug and then proceed to the main agenda. And the main agenda was to what? Exit time. Yeah, but uh, let's, 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 let's get into it just a little bit more. I'm pissed Pamza told me that I could sleep in the bed with him. We have two weeks before the wedding, and if Hamza and I are not able to share a bed and find out if our intimacy is there, then it's going to be a really big problem. Ah, the one. We have two weeks. Let me repeat myself. We have two weeks. Now, I don't care about how, you know, it could have been altered in the show. Maybe she was there for a little bit longer, whatnot. The fact is this. We have to take it to face value in what she says here. Two weeks. And of course, she made it abundantly clear, if we ain't having no sexy time tonight, then we ain't getting married in two weeks. So why was it so important to have sexy time tonight, two weeks before when? She then announced that she was pregnant. But correct me if I'm wrong though, because here's the thing, she said that we have two weeks until we get married. But when did she actually announce when did she actually announce she was pregnant? Was that even two weeks later? Or was it a tad before? To be fair, it doesn't really matter too much. Now, I understand that there's a lot of women out here who just know when they're pregnant and they can just figure it out early. But here's the thing though, for someone that is in her profession, she would obviously know early if she was pregnant. You see what I'm saying? But again, at the same time though, she would also know how to manipulate the narrative. She would know how to manipulate the timeline. That's why we're sitting there thinking, when are you going to give Hamza a DNA, a DNA test? But she's never going to do that. I'll be very surprised. If they started asking for DNA tests, understand she'd probably start bringing out lawyers left, right, and freaking center. But it was then, right there, key moment. No sexy time, no marriage. Two weeks. Two weeks. Hmm. I do question though, you know, I do question another thing. The pregnancy test itself in particular. Where did she even purchase it? Did she purchase that pregnancy test in the US, then flew all the way to Tunisia, obviously with it, and then took it, of course, in Tunisia? Or did she take one? I mean, to be fair, she probably would have taken one prior in the States to then. But then needed, needed another when she got there. 
because don't get me wrong, she could still she still could have gone to a shop and bought one. But um, the way everything seems so planned, hmm, you just never know. But I tell you what, though, before we proceed, I want to show you an image real quick. Now, you see, this is the cutscene I believe that she did when she was in Tunisia. Because the one I showed you beforehand, her features were very slightly simmered down. Her neck was a bit more less, um, it had less fat on it basically. And her face was less rounder, okay? And also her chin was a bit more defined. And of course, the makeup was less as well. But let me not leave you here without actually showing you both images side by side. And as you can see here, there is a big difference. Well, let me, not, let me not be too dramatic, but there is a difference within her in both before and after, and as you can see. And the one on the right is, of course, when she was in America. And the one on the left is when she had obviously, you know, landed in uh, Tunisia at some point. Now, here's the thing, though. I don't know necessarily the time frame between these two images themselves in particular. But one thing that I can tell you for sure, for sure, is that the way she's looking on the left is exactly how she looked or near enough how she looked when she landed. And the way she looked on the right is exactly how she looked before obviously flying over and as we saw in the early scenes. And I made sure that when I took these screenshots, I had similar angles, you know what I mean, of uh, similar face expressions. And most importantly, I did not resize these pictures in any kind of way. How they are is exactly how I took the screenshots. So bear that in mind too, that it is all absolutely unedited completely. But as you can see, the chins, one is more defined than the other. Then you look at the neck, one has a little bit more fat than the other. Now understand this, ladies and gentlemen, I know it may seem a bit crazy that I'm just picking at just the differences, but for someone that has always lived in the world of fit health and fitness, I'm able to identify when somebody has gained that little bit of weight and when somebody has lost a little bit of that weight. And the matter of fact is Memphis is someone that has predominantly always kept herself in very good shape. In fact, I tried to go, oh, I went back to her Instagram account and this is what I found very suspicious. Now in the series itself in particular, they show us many scenes where there's pictures of her beforehand and these pictures would have only come from social media whether that be her instagram account her facebook account or any other account that she has but on her instagram account itself in particular i noticed that there were a lot of images missing because the first image that i saw i believe was dated back in 2017 maybe 2018 and then after that we don't get another one until 2020 and then after that we don't get them again until um 2021 2022 and in that time you could see that throughout the year she's always done a very good job of making sure that she stayed in in good shape and at a very petite size and of course the only time she's going to gain that weight is going to be by being pregnant not by necessarily eating because clearly keeping in shape is her thing. Even now she's given birth, she has now smack bang, put herself back into shape again. And also another thing that I want you to recognize is that when it comes to Memphis, she's someone that in the very first episode, they, they even showed us that she was someone that when she took pictures, she was always wearing tight clothes and clothes that were very revealing. But throughout the whole season, she barely wore any tight clothes and she definitely didn't wear anything revealing she was completely covered up throughout the majority of the season and you've got to ask yourself why one reason of course is because she's hiding a pregnancy but another reason is this and this is a reason i guess maybe women already do anyway but i do know from people i do know that when it comes to tv shows if an actress gets pregnant they were either give an accessory, which could be a big bag, and that bag is therefore to cover up the, the the bump if the bump has really grown, or it would be to wear clothes that are baggy or clothes that are very long, clothes that are always quite covering. And it's crazy because I remember for the people in the UK, they'll notice there was a, there was a um, what's her name? Patsy Palm, I think her name was, and she saw Miss Stenders, and she, uh, she played the character Bianca. It's crazy, she played a whole freaking like series where she was wearing this this horrible freaking silver chavy coat and nobody knew the whole time that she was pregnant but because she did it very well covering up because that is what you do normally in the tv world to make sure xyz but again though 
obviously this is not something that TFC would, would have put into place. So I imagine this is something that maybe females do in general anyway when they are getting pregnant. And, and especially, especially when they're called Memphis and they're trying to come onto the screen looking like as if they're not pregnant. And I tell you what's even more fascinating. I had to make sure that my own theory about this was pinpoint accurate in terms of maybe this is something that women do generally so therefore i reached out to a female friend of mine okay very very close person okay and i said hey like yo is this something that women would normally do per se if you know in, in given whatever circumstance they may be in and i was told 100 percent. in fact this person even said to me to be honest with you <laughs> i knew memphis was pregnant from the very get-go i saw her I was like, okay, buddy, I only say it because I bought it to you. <laughs> but she was like, no, no, trust me, I knew because I'm a woman. And it was just so evident from the very beginning that she was already pregnant when she landed. Now, obviously, whether that's true or not, uh, I'm just letting you know that what I'm telling you isn't something that has just come off my back. It's information that I've gone and confirmed from elsewhere. But let's proceed because, of course, there's a little bit more to the video as well to give more evidence behind my own statements of why I strongly believe 100% she was pregnant before she arrived and therefore Hamza could not be the baby father. But to be honest with you, the biggest confirmation that we have is the fact that she has not given Hamza a DNA test until right now. And until we get one, huh, it's always going to be a big question mark. But I generally do believe that everything that I'm showing you here right now is the answer to the big question mark but let's proceed yes. about tonight yes what, what about if we just get a hotel room instead why are you scared because i am her guest and i need to respect her but we i love the way she was like why not get a hotel <laughs> so i just wanted to laugh at that but let's proceed and actually no do you know what? in fact i tell you what's even, why it's even more funny is because in the series in the series in the in the very first episode when we meet when we first meet their characters it's crazy because memphis opens up when opens up but she admits that uh before me and hamza she was going through a uh whole phase she said that yeah i've been about doing my own thing thing the thing 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 which is also another key point oh my goodness why didn't i think about this also another key point for someone who literally was going through a whole phase what does that mean it means the whole time she would have been using what some form of contraception to make sure that she never got what pregnant because you got to think why didn't she get pregnant for this whole whole phase but now, boom, bam, drops the contraception, and then, doom, she's pregnant. <laughs> wow. Honestly, the information just come even more and more. You know what, though? I should have already saved that clip, but at the time, it didn't click to me. It only clicked to me right now, but it is what it is. But anyway, let's proceed. But we need to have sex before we get married. The plan is for us to get married while I'm here. And if I can't see whether or not me and Hamza have sexual chemistry, there's no way that I would marry him. But it's very important I respect Hamza's mom's rules because she can really make or break my marriage. Like she ever cared about Hamza's mom making or breaking their marriage. That's evident that she didn't care about that because Memphis already said that she's going to, she said at the end of the day, Memphis is going to do what Memphis is, is, wants to do. That's it. There's no going away. There's no going behind it. That was just all for the freaking cameras. But at the end of the day, again, the famous scene in particular, and she said it how many times now? Well, this is now the second time I've shown you guys, maybe the third time where she has said no sex, no marriage. She's talking about his performance and that. She's talking about, I got to make sure that we're compatible and that. Why are you lying for? It's because you was goddamn pregnant before you flew there. And it's just that simple that you wanted to make sure that you had sex so therefore you can then say to him that i'm pregnant with your child and therefore it would remove any kind of de deniability in his own mind until of course now <laughs> honestly some people think that we are just complete fools for me because you uh -huh. before marriage number one number two why did you say oh i only been married once yeah my problem uh no good relationship together just friendship just you know this is so golden because <laughs> <laughs> it's the way Amza's mum was already onto her. But what she says next, very key to where we are right now, present. Hamza, uh, her Mother is great. I'm scared. She's scared? Yeah, because uh, you and me, divorce. Oh, why? She thinks we would divorce? I mean, she broke up with both. God damn. Now, here's the thing, though lessons 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 how many times can i say the word lessons memphis is someone that never learns her lesson 
She's someone that for some bizarre reason is still in the same predicament. How? Three times. Now, of course, she'd only be married the once. But obviously here, she's obviously told Hamza that she's walked away both times. And the first, and obviously the husband one was purely because they were just good friends, which is obviously the person that she slept with who allegedly is the baby, uh, who is allegedly, you know, the, the alternative father to Hamza and Memphis's daughter. Okay, given the fact that Hamza probably is not the father. It's crazy though, because boy, if that DNA test comes back and it turns out that she that he is the father, that's going to be crazy. It's okay though, I'll hold my hands up and say I'm wrong. But uh, right now, I feel like I'm strongly correct. So uh, until then, I keep running my own narrative. But anyway, the matter of fact is though, that was such a key, key moment within that scene and within the episode itself in particular. No, and within the season itself in particular, when it came to Hamza and Memphis, because at the end of the day, his mother clearly said that, I don't know, I'm a bit worried. I'm a bit scared because she's already been in two relationships and they haven't worked out and she's walked away every single time. What exactly is going to make this any different? What exactly is going to make Hamza special? And obviously that's not his mum saying that you're not special, son, do you know what I mean? But it's questioning the inevitable. And you gotta ask yourself this, or at least Hamza should have asked himself this. Or at least I'm saying this in self in particular. I do generally believe the reason why she wanted someone from abroad was one, she did say earlier on in the season or within one of his episodes that, boy, one, American men just never will give her a text back. Ah, I mean, honestly, like, w women need to stop doing this. Like, it's like a UK person. Oh, yeah, men in UK don't give us text back. Stop doing that. Listen, if a man isn't texting you back, understand, it's for a reason, but just get over it. Just get over it and move on. Like, clearly, if that guy doesn't want to text you back, clearly there's someone else out there better for you. But for some people, like Memphis, if somebody isn't giving them a text back and all that madness, well, what do they decide to do? They decide to believe that they can go abroad and find someone from a, uh, I guess, poorer country and give them this fantasy life of coming to America because America is the land of the great, the land of the dream, the land of like X, Y, Z, when in reality, America, just like the UK, has a lot of problems. And for someone, myself in particular, when you live in a first world country, yeah, it may look pretty and yeah, the locations may have a lot of amazing sites and amazing things you can do, but living in those countries is never easy as one to three because it comes with so many complications. But of course, there are a lot of people who don't know these things because they see these fantasy lights on TV and therefore it just gets to a point where 90 Day Fiance itself in general, in my opinion, has become a TV show where the concept is to literally, it's for these people to find someone abroad that is going to just be begging to come to the states you know but you're so sad to be fair of you but end of the day that that wasn't the case of hamza himself in particular end of the day with hamza he was someone that met a woman online and i do generally believe he did fall in love with memphis but memphis on the other hand i'm not saying that she did not fall in love with him and i'm not saying that she didn't have any feelings for him but she's someone who definitely had more of an agenda over her feelings she was more focused on getting what she be what she believes she deserves in a man rather than actually getting a man that she actually deserves if that makes any sense because as far as i'm concerned her whole thing was just, it was just to trap him. It was never really a thing to really get him to love her for her or for her to love him for him. It was more of a matter of, I'm the woman with all this success. I've done all these things. I've got all these things here, okay? You're gonna come to my country. You're gonna live in my home. We're gonna look after our kid that I am going to carry. And if you don't do exactly what you should be doing, I'm just gonna boot you out of the door. And clearly that is evidently happened. But anyway, I'll leave it as that. That's all I've got to say. And I cannot wait for you lovely people to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. And as always, have a good day, have a good afternoon, and uh, like, subscribe, and peace.